Hi everyone, this is Bogast Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Namor figure. So, before I do this review, I wanted to say that I apologize for uh, taking such a long break, but I've had a really bad cold and I lost my voice for quite a few days, actually. And I'm still a little stuffy from that, but I wanted to get back to doing my reviews, so I may still be a little stuffy, but I'm still going to do reviews. <laughs> so... Before we take a look at Namor, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. Now, I did put him on this Mafex flight stand because the alternate hands he comes with are for flying. I'm trying to get that into, into frame there. There. You can see those are his flying hands, his alternate hands. Now, I couldn't get the figure to, to go onto the stand very well. There was a gap right back here at his ab crunch. So I did uh, insert that the uh, peg into there. It's not supposed to do that, but I got into, uh, I got my point across by doing that. So let me go ahead and take that off of there. There. So now let's go ahead and put his alternate hands on him. These hands are in there pretty well. There. You can see there is quite a bit of resistance when trying to get these off, putting a lot of pressure there. Whew. That's the one thing I don't like about alternate hands and stuff is if they go on and, and come off really hard. Because then I'm afraid I'm going to break them like Human Torch's hands. Uh, the Walgreens exclusive Human Torch, they go on and off really hard and... The, the pegs are turning white like it's going to break, and I really didn't like that. So there is Namor with his main hands. And then he comes with an alternate head. And alternate head looks pretty nice. I'm really not a fan of this bearded head. I'm not sure where this look is actually from, because the only time I saw him with a beard is when he had long hair back in the 90s. So if you know, leave a comment down below. Because, uh, I like Namor, but like I said, when he had a beard was when he had really long hair. So, there he is with the beard. And it doesn't look too bad, but I'm just not a fan of it. Just because I, I'm not used to really seeing Namor like that. I think it would have been awesome if Hasbro would have included the, uh, the long haired look. When he had a ponytail when he was rocking that in the 90s. That would have been awesome. back on. He also came with both arms for Okoye. As you can see, the build figure is already together. And for his final accessory here, there. he comes with this trident. Now this is the trident that Namor was supposed to come with. Uh, the, the Walgreens exclusive, but he came with a repainted Odin's trident. Let me get that back in there. And that doesn't... Honestly, it looks very stupid. And this is the trident that he always has in the comics. Recently, he hasn't been using it. I'm not sure what happened. I probably missed an issue or something. But he doesn't use it. But I do like to see him have this. Let me... Just don't want him to go in. There. I'm supposed to just wedge it in like that. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's very shiny. And he can hold it very well. Doesn't lose it or anything. Doesn't really move at all either. <laughs> so now let's take a look at the figure. That, that was a pretty long thing. Pretty long intro just for the accessories. So for the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt looks really nice. They're sculpted nicely. I would say his eyebrows are a little too pointy, but that's how he's drawn in the comics, so I can't complain about that. And there's really not too much going on on this figure. Um, as you can see, the arms are reused, but this is the proper skin tone for Namor. I always thought this Walgreens exclusive version was too dark. Um, he looks way too tanned, and he lives Atlantis in Atlantis under the water. You know, he, he doesn't get a lot of sun, so I thought he should have been a little more pale. And this figure corrects that. 
just like I said, uh, Hasbro does tend to use this darker skin tone a lot on their figures, which I am not a fan of. Just just because it's not really accurate most of the time. Sometimes it's accurate, but and there's his uh underwear, I guess. <laughs> That's other than these uh the, the bracelets or whatever they're called right here. That's the only other thing he has on. <laughs> And uh, each, that's not just painted on, it's sculpted on. He has scales sculpted onto his underwear, which uh, to me looks very uncomfortable. That That isn't something I'd want to wear. But it does have that metallic green to it. I'd, uh, since uh, they look like this, that'd be awesome to get a Triton figure and get him with that kind of uh, metallic green scales. That, that'd be nice. And then he has toes. And then these ankle wings. Now, these are very, very uh, brittle, I, I feel like. Like, they're really soft, and I feel like if, if you bumped them or, or dropped the figure, that they'd probably just break right off. So I'd be careful about that. So that's, that's really about all with this figure. Like I said, there's, there's really not that much since, you know, he, he only has on underwear or swimming trunks, I guess. These and are these painted the same as the previous Namor? No, they're a little darker. I like the color on the Walgreens one better, actually. It's kind of uh, kind of like a dark mustard color, and his belt is like a really dark gold, I think. So now let's go over the articulation. He's got a ball jointed head that can look all the way back. You do have to kind of maneuver it back because it'll get stuck. Just kind of maneuver it like that. He can look all the way down. He can move his head side to side. He's got ball jointed shoulders that can move out that far. And with this body mold, the left arm always uh, stays down further than the right arm. Which is really weird. Not sure why. Oh, and my only complaint is this. Hasbro always puts the production code or whatever on the legs of the figures. Why not put it on the feet where you're not going to see anything? You know, that kind of looks funny. It looks like he has a tattoo. Like a tattoo of a barcode on his leg. But, uh, <laughs> got a little off track there. He's got a swivel with the bicep, double jointed elbow, swivel with the wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He's got an ab crunch that can move back all the way and down all the way. And when you have it back like this, that's how I got the Mafex stand up in there. <laughs> He's got a swivel to waist. Let me move that. He's got ball jointed hips that can move out that far. He can kick forward all the way. And back just a little bit. Swivel the thigh. Double jointed knee. That is a little hard to maneuver, but you can get it. He's got a swivel at the shin. Swivel at the ankle. And an ankle rocker. That ankle rocker is really good. So overall, this figure is pretty good. I'm just not a fan of this look. This is, like I said, his classic look. And I don't, I don't think he's wearing it anymore. I think he's mainly wearing the, uh, the, the Walgreens version. That's his current outfit. Now, uh, before I do comparisons, I wanted to see if you could switch the heads here. I doubt the skin tone will match up, though. So. <sighs> That's not too bad. You could do it, though. You could repaint the head. If you wanted. Actually, that doesn't look ba that bad on this body. Doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. So here he is next to the previous Namor. Oddly enough, the previous Namor is a current costume. Wouldn't have been odd if the previous version was the past version of Namor. <laughs> kind of confusing, honestly, now that I say that out loud. And then here he is next to Invisible Woman. And they had a thing. Like, uh, he always wanted her, I think. Uh, it's been a while since I read the, the older classic Fantastic Four stories. I need to reread them again. Those are some really good stories. And then here he is next to the Human Torch. 
Now, I'm also doing this because this is uh, because he's part of the Fantastic Four, of course, but also because uh, back in uh, the 40s, Human Torch and Namor fought each other. I think that was one of the first superhero crossovers, actually, it was when the original Human Torch and Namor fought each other. So, that's pretty cool. So, overall, this figure is pretty good. Like I said, I'm just not a fan of this particular outfit for him. Uh, I'd like him more clothed. Like, like this. I hate this trident, though. I absolutely hate that trident. But, the figure overall is really good. I can't say it's bad just because I don't like the outfit, because this is a really good toy. So, overall, I'd highly recommend it. So, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.